Hello, and thank you for joining us. This is Brett Haas with Utopia Solutions. We are talking about the nine agile automation development principles. And in today's segment, we're talking about principle number eight, test data management. Your testing is not gonna be any good unless you've got good test data. <laughs> so it's a very critical part of test automation. You know, it's a guy-go situation. Garbage in, garbage out. What we normally find is that customers don't always think about test data management, and therefore, suddenly a framework stops working after X amount of time. It's sort of this, oh my God, my framework doesn't work anymore moment, because the test data has expired or gone bad somehow. It hasn't been managed. So one way to handle that is to make sure you've created the right user stories, non-functional user stories for test data and added those to the backlog and do that at the beginning of your project. Your goal should be, if you're doing automation the right way, you're incorporating test automation and test data management into the framework build process and you're dealing with test data management as part of that process. You wanna consider that approach at the beginning of the project. You could also assign owners to certain types of test data. Maybe system data is owned by one group or one person. Maybe your functional areas or certain types of test data for functional areas are assigned owners somewhere else. But their responsibility should be managing the test data and set up, again, a non-functional user stories for test data management. Thank you for joining us today. This is Brett Haas with Utopia Solutions. Please join us for our next segment where we talk about principle number nine, minimum viable functionality.